Greetings and salutations. I am Skojo in 360. Look down there. And you'll see I'm about to do something that frankly scares the piss out of me. Uh, I've been wanting to fly my Insta360 on my Mavic Air. But it scares me because, first of all, the Mavic Air really isn't designed to carry weight. And the first time I tried it was a near disaster. But the camera was on the top. This time I've got it mounted on the bottom. The wind just started to pick up a little bit. I've got about $1,100, $1,200 worth of gear in my hand that if it crashes, I don't know how I'm going to pay for it, but we're going to give it a shot. My first attempt out of the gate was to fly the thing around the base. Now you'll notice I'm flying it more like a traditional video camera, but this is a 360 camera. So all I have to do is kind of get things in the ballpark and then turn things in editing. You'll see I'm trying to turn the drone to get it just facing towards home plate, but I could do this in editing. My next step is to take the thing to the skies. I edited this using the viewfinder mode in the app, so I was able to get some nice smooth turns and real smooth motion. Though I didn't take notes, I did notice a drain in the battery because you are making those motors work just a bit harder. I did notice that you do get an alert for top speed a little earlier than normal, again because of the stress on the motor. I can't say it was a stress-free flight, but it never really is for me. You really got to be careful with this because it is a different weight balance. Just be careful and have fun. Of course, one of the things I love about the Mavic Air is you can hand launch and hand retrieve. It's so much nicer when you can actually be portable and nimble. All right, well, it flew pretty good. You could definitely tell there was some weight on it, and uh, doing big movements on it was a little bit more difficult because the weight was getting tossed around. But let's get it home and figure out what we're going to do next.